Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is the feast of St. Gerard Mahalia, a redemptory saint, patron of mothers and children. Let us now watch a short video presentation. Ipinanganak si San Gerardo Magella sa Muro, Locano, Italy noong April 6, 1726 sa isang abang pamilya. Mula sa kanyang mga magulang, natutunan ni San Gerardo ang pagmamahal sa panalangin at sakripisyo. Nang pumanaw ang kanyang ama, kinailangan niyang kumita para sa kanyang pamilya. Nagtrabaho siya bilang isang mananahi o sastre. Sa edad na labing apat, hinangad niya na pumasok sa Capuchin Friary, ngunit tinanggihan siya dahil sa kanyang mahinang pangangatawan. Pagkatapos ng maikling panahon ng paglilingkod sa obispo ng Lacedonia, bumalik siya sa pananahi na may mababang sweldo. Noong April 1749, tinanggap siya ng redentorista na noon ay nangangaral ng misyon sa muro. Matapos ang panahon ng pagsubok at pagiging novisyado sa kumbento sa Deliseto noong July 16, 1752, itinalaga siya bilang isang relihiyoso. Masunurin siya sa kautusan. Naglilibot siya para mangulekta ng pera para sa mga bagay na kailangan ng komunidad. Ang kanyang presensya sa mga taong nawibigatan dahil sa kahirapan, kamangmangan at kanyang awa sa may epidemya ay tanda ng pag-asa sa kanila. Malalim ang kanyang pakikiramay sa kanila at pinatotohanan niya na magtiwala sa pag-ibig at awa ng Diyos. Sa kanyang limang taon bilang isang lay brother sa kapatiran ng mga redentorista, pambihira ang kanyang kasipagan, pasensya sa mga may sakit, Pag-ibig sa mga may hirap, kapakumbabaan sa harap ng maling paratang, pagpapakilala ng kabayanihan sa pawagitan ng pagsunod, spirit of penance at katapatan sa panalangin. Sumulat siya ng maraming liham, direksyon pang espiritual at panununtunan ng buhay. Pinagkalooban siya ng Panginoon ng espiritual na biyaya, kabilang ang propesiya, ang pagbabasa ng puso ng mga tao at ang kaloob ng mga himala. Namatay siya sa Mater Domini noong October 16, 1755. Nahirang nabyato ni Papa Leo ikalabing dalawa noong January 29, 1893 at itinalagang santo ni Santo Pio ikasampu noong December 11, 1904. Siya ay patron ng mga ina, lalo na sa panahon ng pagbubuntis at mga sanggol. Oh, 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brethren, let us humbly acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God, and, and to, to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you will to draw Saint Gerard to yourself from his earlier years to mold him to the image of your crucified Son. Grant, we pray, that following the example of his life, we may be transformed in the same image. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. I regard everything as lost because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law but one that comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God based on faith. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his sufferings by becoming like him in his death, if somehow I may attend the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained this, or have already reached the goal, but I pressed on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Beloved, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the price of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Preserve me, God. I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you, yourself, who are my prize. I will bless you, Lord. You give me counsel, and even at night, direct my heart. I keep you, Lord, ever in my sight. Since you are the my right hand, I shall stand firm. show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, happiness forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do? For I do not have space to store my harvest. And he said, this is what I shall do. I shall tear down and the barns and build larger ones. Then I shall store all my grain and other goods. And I shall say to myself, Now, as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus will it be for the one who stores up treasures for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Wala kang ang ginagawang masama. Ano naman ang ginagawa mo sa kaawa-awa? Una ko pong narinig ang mga katagang ito sa aking dating profesor sa UST, Father Roy Rodriguez, OP. Meron daw pong isang bahay sa Tiaong, Quezon. Kung kayo ay uh, daraan doon sa kanilang tarangkahan o doon sa kanilang pasimano, meron pong nakasabit na karatula at ito ang nakalagay. Wala kang ang ginagawang masama. Ano naman ang ginagawa mo sa kaawa-awa? Labing anim sa tatlong talinghaga ni Jesus ay patungkol sa pananalapi at kayamanan. Mahigit limang daang berso ang tungkol sa pananampalataya at ganun din po 
mga 500 verses ang tungkol sa pagbibigay uh, ng papuri sa Diyos. Pero mahigit dalawang libong talata ang nagsasaad tungkol sa pananalapi at kayamanan. Napakalaki pong bahagi ng ating spiritual na pamumuhay ang pananalapi at ang kayamanan. Sabi nga po ni Obispo Robert Baron, our spiritual life is a battle. Ang ating daw pong buhay spiritual ay parang digmaan dahil naglalaban ang kampo ng pananalapi at ang kampo ng ating kaluluwa. Mas marami kang pera, mas mahirap maligtas ang iyong kaluluwa. Hindi po sinasabi dito sa Ebanghelyo na galing sa masama ang kayamanan noong magsasaka. Hindi po sinabing nang galing sa daya o korupsyon. Pero tinawag siya ni Jesus na hangal. Bakit? Dahil masyadong ganid, masyadong makasarili lamang. Tignan niyo yung sinabi niya. Ang dami-dami kong ani, napakaliit na ng aking mga kamalig. Ano ang gagawin ko? Ah, magpapatayo ako ng mas marami at mas malalaking kap panaa. Lalagyan at sisidla nito. At sasabihin ko sa aking sarili, sigurado na ang iyong kinabukasan. Hindi mo na kailangan magtrabaho pa. Kumain, uminom, mag-enjoy ka na lang sa buhay. Pero tinawag ni Jesus na hangal, e paano kung babawiin ang buhay mo ngayong gabi mismo? Saan mapupunta ang lahat ng iyong pinaghirapan? Ang lahat ng iyong inipon? Nagtatago tayo, nagsisiguro tayo para sa buhay na panamantala. Pero ang sabi ng Panginoon, mag-impok kayo ng kayamanan para sa langit. Kung tayo po ay malakas, matibay ang ating pananampalataya, naniniwala tayo na ang buhay natin dito sa lupa ay pananman, panampalataya o temporary lamang. Pero ang buhay na walang hanggan, doon maglalagi ang iyong kaluluwa sa buhay na walang hanggan. Saan mo gusto? Sa paraiso o sa impyerno? Narsa sa inyo po ang desisyon. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, God has been pleased to call us His children and ordered us to call Him Father. Let us pray with confidence for His continued help and protection. And let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That all parents show awareness of their role in building the Church of Christ by becoming light to their children and that all the children may love and respect their parents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That each of us, like St. Gerard, may be able to share ourselves and give service to our fellow men and women. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, may we never lose faith and hope amidst this COVID-19 pandemic and find strength to express social solidarity with one another, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Embrace those who have gone before us 
into eternal communion with you. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffered masses to be celebrated in the national shrine of our Mother of Perpetual Help, may God answer their petitions and hear their thanksgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you are so loved that you sent Christ, your only Son, to raise us to the dignity of your children. Help us to love you in return and guide us in our continuous effort to strengthen our families and our nation. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, you accepted the oblation of your servant Gerard as he offered himself daily with Christ. Accept the sacrifice of our will together with the gifts we present at your altar. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that, encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and with them, the imperishable crown of glory, through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim.
you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, O Savior of the world, for thy cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Jesus our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Gerard, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to call God our Father.
deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Behold, this is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those invited to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. O oh Lord, may the sacrament we have received stir up in us the desire to please you always, so that, like St. Gerard, we may ever strive to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing for expectant mothers and children. Almighty Father, we praise and thank you for the gift of life. We lift up to you all expectant mothers and children present here today. Through the intercession of St. Gerard, touched by his virtues, we pray for healthy babies, for loving and responsible parents as they all journey together in this our temporary home called Earth. We also include in our prayers all devotees of St. Gerard and the members of his league. May everyone value family life, one of God's greatest gifts, brought about by love in Jesus' name. Amen. Before I give my final blessing, uh, nais ko lamang po kayong anyayahan na makinig sa Radio Veritas tuwing linggo alas 11 ng gabi hanggang alas 2 ng madaling araw. Ito po ay ang healing touch sa Veritas. This is an on-the-air uh, counseling program where you can uh, give in your, uh, share your problems for advice, your prayer requests, no? At uh, para po sa ibang pangangailangan pa. Ito po ay gabi-gabi mula Linggo hanggang biyernes ng gabi. Thank you po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. And let us glorify the Lord through our lives. Thanks be to God.